Welcome to our lecture online. So what do we do if there's more than one object hanging from a string and the string is either held steady or it's being pulled up at a constant speed or it's allowed to move down at a constant speed or it's being accelerated at a constant acceleration or it's being accelerated downward as a constant acceleration? Well, here's the examples that we need in order to figure out how to calculate the various tensions. So first, let's look at two objects. We have a a rope at the very top attached to M1 and they have a rope connecting M1 to M2 and we want to know the tension here and the tension over here. So to find T2 and notice the conditions are that there's no acceleration and that either there's no velocity or the velocity is constant upward or the velocity is constant downward. It doesn't matter. All three will give you the same result because in all three cases the acceleration is equal to zero. Since F net equals MA, notice the net force therefore equals zero. And then if we isolate just this object right here, we can see that we have tension 2 acting upward, we have M2G acting downward, and so we can say that the upward force minus the downward force net equals zero, so therefore T2 equals the weight of M2. If we want to find out what tension 1 is equal to, then we draw a free body diagram around both of these objects. We can then see that we have uh, tension 1 pulling upward, we have M1G pulling downward, and we have M2G pulling downward. So then we can say that the net force must equal zero. Again, there's no acceleration. But we have one upward force, which is T1, and two downward forces, which is M1G and M2G. And when you add them all up, you get zero. Of course, you need to subtract these two because they act downward, and this one acts upward. So T2 is equal to the sum of the weight of the two objects. They say, then you may say, well, what about T2? Well, T2 is internal to this free body diagram, so we can ignore it. Anything inside can ignore it. It's just the forces acting on the object to the outside of the free body diagram, and essentially the weight of M1G, of course, acts out the, bo the box, M2G acts out the box, and T1 acts out the box. And so therefore we can see that the three forces must be added up together, one positive, two negative forces, so T2 equals the sum of those other two. If there's three objects, makes no difference. The tension here will equal the weight of this object, M3G. The tension here will be equal to the weight of these two objects, M2G plus M3G. And the tension here will be equal to the weight of all three objects. So you get the exact same result with two objects or three objects, as long as there's no acceleration. But if there is acceleration, like in this case, and the acceleration is upward, not only does the tension equal the weight of the object, but also the force required to accelerate it in that direction against gravity. So the tension T3 here equals the weight of this object plus the force required to accelerate it, whatever the acceleration is. Of course, we would need to know the acceleration to calculate what this actual value is. To figure out T2, it will be equal to the weight of both of these objects my, uh, plus the force required to accelerate both of the objects, which is M2A and M3A. And for T1, that will equal the weight of the three objects, M1G plus M2G plus M3G, plus the force required to accelerate each one of them against gravity, which is M1A plus M2A plus M3A. But if the acceleration is downward, then you can see that T3 will be equal to the weight of the object minus the force to accelerate it. In the case of T2, it will be the sum of these two weights, the weight of this one plus the weight of this one, minus the force to accelerate both of them. And then finally, T1, the one up here, is equal to the sum of the weights of all three masses minus the force to accelerate all three, because notice that the acceler acceleration is downward, which will reduce the tension on the strings, where here the acceleration is upward, which will increase the tension on the strings. And that is how it's done.